Because you can't honestly believe that I would send a man and his entire family to their death out of spite. They're aristocrats, my dear. I could never live with myself. In that case, you may have one day to answer to the Republic. Rather the Republic than my conscience. You disappoint me. You've gone soft. If by that you mean I'm not bloodthirsty enough for this revolution of yours, you're right. It used to be your revolution as well. Yes. It has taken us in different directions. Perhaps my vision was never the same as yours. I see now what begins as a dream can end as a nightmare. Some causes can become warped and twisted like some men. It's not difficult to guess the reason for this sudden change of heart. I suspect it's the aristocratic company you've been keeping of late. Why, Paul, I do believe you're jealous. Why should I not be? Well, if it's any consolation, Sir Percy left for England a fortnight ago. Oh, then you don't know. Know what? That he's back. In Paris? You know, it amazes me how a woman of your taste and intelligence could tolerate such a fool. And now, if you'll excuse me. I have some duties to attend to. Bonjour, Monsieur. I swear you've been taking lessons. The cravat's a picture. Go oh, out of my way! You idiot! Percy! 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 <laughs> My darling. Well, I'm glad you're pleased to see me. More than we can say for your French chauvelin. Positively no sense of humor. 